Awesome. I am so excited that you decided to jump into this free training. I'm Lydia Martin with Banish Business Clutter, and I'm going to show you how to set up your bookmark folder system. It's actually super simple to do, and I'm going to show you how to do it in Google Chrome, which is the browser that I use. Now, below this video, there is a link for a PDF that also has instructions uh, for setting up your bookmarks folder in Chrome, along with links for setting it up in Safari or Microsoft Edge. Those are the three most popular browsers, so we wanted to give you instructions for each, but this video is going to specifically show you how to set it up in Google Chrome. As you can see, I have my bookmark folders um, right across the top here in Chrome, and in order to see that bookmarks bar, you're going to click on the three dots here in Chrome, go to bookmarks, and make sure that this show bookmarks bar is checked. That's how you are able to see the folders at the top, and then you're going to go to your bookmark manager. Now it's super easy to add a new folder in the manager. All you do is click on the three dots at the top right and you click add new folder. I'm going to go ahead and just title this folder, folder sample and I'm going to hit save. Now let me just zoom out or uh, just a little bit so you can see my whole list of folders. The great thing about setting up a folder inside of Google Chrome is that you can very easily move these any where you would like in the list. You can now see that my sample folder is showing right here uh, next to my website folder. You can also grab them right from the bookmarks bar at any time and move them where you would like them. So I might want to place it right here. Now the benefit of a folder system versus just bookmarking everything individually that is that you can then create these drop down menus and it'll be vertical instead of horizontal because as you know once you get to so many, you'll get a little arrow here where your additional ones will be. So depending on the size of your screen, you might have access or enough room for eight folders. You might have enough room for five or 10 folders. It just depends. So just click on those arrows to get anything that's lower. And if you have a folder down here that you don't want to be dropping off, just simply drag it a little bit higher on your bookmarks bar and now it'll be front and center. So once you've created your folders, here's how to get bookmarks into the folders. You're gonna just go to a website. So right here is my Banished Business Clutter page. Page. I'm going to go ahead and click on blog or let me click on something that maybe does is not bookmarked. There we go. So here's a page on my website that is not bookmarked and I can tell because this gray star is not blue. So if I want to go ahead and save this to my website folder, Right here I have quick links to different pages on my website so that I can quickly come here and copy links as needed. I'm gonna click on the star and notice how it asks me what do I wanna name the bookmark. So I'm gonna name this my Kajabi Tools page and I'm gonna select the folder that it goes in. Now if you don't see what you're looking for here in this list, this is typically your most recent uh, used options, just click choose another folder and then I can pick website, hit save. And now when I go to website, you'll notice here at the bottom right here is that Kajabi's tools page that I bookmarked. And again, I can drag it up even higher uh, if I do know I want it to be up here a little bit uh, closer to the top. Anytime I want to remove something from this um, link or even a folder, all you do is right click and you hit delete and it will delete the entire folder. Or if you're on a bookmark, you can right click and just delete a bookmark. Now, the nice thing about this is at any time I can click around to any link within my website without going to a second tab. This is going to save you the aggravation of having 50 or 100 tabs open because you can stay in one spot. Let's just say Facebook, for example, and I can go to my business page in Facebook. If I want to go somewhere else in Facebook, I can click here on my personal page. Notice how I'm able to stay 
all in one tab. I'm not having to go and open multiple tabs. And I love that I can get to anything I want on Facebook without even having to go to Facebook, search on Facebook. I've just simply bookmarked each and every one of these pages. If you click on them, you'll see I've titled the group and I've put it in the Facebook folder. So go ahead and think about the different folders that you want to create. Um, go to your bookmarks manager and set up the folders you need. One little quick tip, once you have, um, or let's just say you have a number of individual bookmarks that aren't yet in folders, the nice thing is, is once you've created the folder, you can take any one of these options and drag it to the folder of your choice. So that's a really just easy organizational tip if you happen to have a bunch of bookmarks that aren't in folders. So create your folders first, have all those folders nice and organized the way you want them, and then click on any individual bookmarks and drag them into the appropriate folders. And before you know it, you will have these wonderful lists and links. Now it will look a little different depending on um, the browser that you use. I'm gonna go ahead and just flip over to Safari real quick. Um, so that you can just see a few things. Even Microsoft Edge doesn't call the bookmarks bookmarks. They call them favorites. Uh, and I do believe Safari does as well. So let me just come in here and I'm going to show you how to access your Safari uh, favorites. So when you're in Safari, let me just move this so that you can see it a little bit better. There we go. So in Safari, which I don't typically use, but just so you know, up here at the top, if you click, this is where it will show your bookmarks, okay? So all you're gonna do is hit the plus sign. Oh, nope, sorry, you're gonna go up here to bookmarks in Safari and notice how it says add bookmark folder. You just click that and you'll see that you can start a new folder. Um, and these, I'm not sure what these links are. <laughs> These must be web pages that I have been to in the past, but you can see if you have any folders set up over here in Safari, they actually show on the left, not at the top. So right here is a folder. I'm going to go ahead and just drag that up higher so that this folder is at the top. I haven't used Safari in a long time, <laughs> but I want you to see how easy this is to do. So I'm gonna put this, actually, let's put it right here. So now I have my folder, and of course, again, you can create a dropdown by um, adding any bookmarks to this sample folder. So in Safari, it's over here on the left. You may even be able to change this uh, to be at the top if you prefer, but I just wanted to make sure you knew where to find your bookmarks if you're using Safari.